Hello, this is Dr. Amin Manashi, retina specialist from Aleppo, Syria. This course is about clinical changes in RPE. This presentation is an introduction. RPE is a very important layer which serves an important role in keeping a visual function. Thus, a disorder in the RPE layer may lead to the death of photoreceptors. One of the major functions of RPE is the absorption of light due to its pigmentation and highly vascularization of the choroid underneath it. Another important function of RP is the epithelial transport, where it serves as outer retinal blood barrier due to tight junctions between RPE cells. This barrier lets only nutrients to the photoreceptors and to eliminate water and metabolites from retinal tissue. Vision starts with absorption of photon by chromophore or photopsy, 11 cis retinal. After absorption of photon, 11 cis retinal has changed its conformation into all trans retinal. Rhodopsin becomes metarhodopsin in defined time before its activity is terminated by phosphorylation. After additional reaction steps, rhodopsin is able to change all trans retinal for 11 cis retinal and it can be activated again by a photon. Thus, all trans retinal needs to be re isomerized to ensure sufficient delivery of 11 cis retinal for all visual needs and proper visual function. Photoreceptor outer segments go through constant destruction due to photooxidative damage. To maintain vision, the photoreceptor outer segments are constantly renewed by shedding the, uh, the destroyed tips of the photoreceptor outer segments and by phagocytosis of the photoreceptor outer segments by the retinal pigment epithelium. This is generally regulated process which takes place in the morning and it's triggered by light. It takes approximately 11 days to renew the whole length of the uh, photoreceptor outer segment. Multiple factors are secreted in the RPE, such as pigment epithelial derived factor is a neurotrophic factor which is secreted to the apical retinal side of the RPE, stabilized the uh, neural retina uh, by prevention of apoptosis. Vascular endothelial growth factor secreted to the basolateral side of the RPE and is required to stabilize the fenestrated structure of the endothelium of the choroid. Other factors are activated when the retina or the RPE is, are exposed to pathological conditions such as hypoxia or metabolic stress. In this course, we are going to discuss the most common clinical changes in RPE such as drusen, are deposits of extracellular yellow material between RPE and Brooks membrane mainly consists of lipids and fatty proteins. Pigment epithelial detachment happen when RPE separates from Brooks membrane in a result of fluid, blood, fibrovascular tissue, and resonate matters accumulation. RPE rib, which is torn in RPE layer due to opposite traction forces inside the pigment epithelial detachment happens most likely as a complication of intravitreal antivitreal therapy. RPE atrophy is a thinning or porosity focal RPE can be focal RPE atrophy or it can be diffuse developing geographic atrophy. This course won't discuss RPE hypertrophy nor dystrophy. Please stay tuned for the next presentations to discuss the RPE pathology. I hope uh, you will find this introduction and the rest of the course beneficial in your clinical practice. Thank you for listening.